out of the the air forest. That's neat. All stages are circular and can be traversed in either direction. That's nice. The stage hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? I mean, I've been chatting with you guys in chat for, you know, five, ten minutes now. But, <laughs> whatever. How's everyone doing anyways? Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I'm actually kind of excited for the games we're playing tonight, and that doesn't happen all that often, so that's pretty sick, you know? Like, uh, we got Devil May Cry, and then, I mean, I'm not as excited for the next one. Uh, 007 something, I forget the exact name on it. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know, 007 GoldenEye was pretty decent for the Nintendo 64. But other than that, it's a little hit or miss, I'd say. Hopefully it's fun. And at the very least, I'm positive Devil May Cry here is going to be fun. Long since past. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons and humans were powerless under their rule. Humanity's hope lived in a demon named Sparta. With a spirit unlike any other, and wielding the sword that bore his own name, Sparta eradicated the demons. Yeah, it's got to be one I own for obvious reasons, but, uh, yeah, I, I try it out. I do it for the PS2 Gauntlet. Now, if I end up enjoying the game, it'll go on the list of games that I want to complete, that I let everyone vote on, uh, which one they want to be played. Every time we complete a game, I make a new poll so everyone can kind of vote on what they want to have us actually play through to completion. Which, if I had to guess, will probably be switching games in about a month-ish. Just based off of, like, how long to beat numbers on, uh, on whatchamacallit. I do got PC, yes, but I don't play, like, PC games on stream right now. My schedule only lets me play PS2 games and, uh, um, then, like, sim strategy games. Like, that's the whole PS2 gauntlet thing, you know? Playing through every PS2 game, or trying every PS2 game. Now, if it's, like, a super short game or something, we can make an exception uh, for the for the completion thing. Like, if it's something that could be done in one stream or something like that, then, you know, if I enjoy a game enough, we'll fudge it a little bit. I mean, we did uh, the Ratchet and Clank game that's, you know, PS5. And then, right now, we're doing Metal Gear Solid because I want to play the sequels that are on PS2 to completion. This Devil May Cry is peculiar. The original makers were not involved as much, if you remember correctly. Why? <laughs> like, I wonder why they would make the first game and then just kind of, you know, not make the second one? That seems odd. Towards the north, the Hunter of Dark Blood will realize his destiny. Guidepost for the Hunters, Chapter 1, Clause 3. Mission start. Let's go. Cry of Fear? I never heard of it <laughs> i have no idea what that is i have to look into it see if it's something that i uh want to purchase or is it free yes and then nate does make me play uh fable every 12 hour stream uh the 12 hour streams that we do every two three four months uh those are kind of wild cards right we just do whatever the hell we want basically on those ones uh, it doesn't really have to be PS2 or, or anything in particular. Um, the only thing there is, of course, you know, I won't play anything with too much copywritten stuff, like Guitar Hero, Rock Band, Dance Dance Revolution, etc., etc. Anything with too much nudity or or uh, that Twitch has banned, things like that. A crystal with condensed demon blood used to gain new power. Yep, that's the same as last time. That makes sense. I feel like the jump is even higher than last time. Oh shit, we start out with uh with the with the double jump. What else do we start out with? What was that? <laughs> That's definitely not something we could do in, in Devil May Cry 1, man. We can run along walls, run up walls, and then jump off of them as well. Or double jump after. Wow, okay. So the <laughs> 
Okay, the movement's gonna be crazy in this one, I can already tell. Triangle's regular attack, square our pistols. That is, aim our pistols. Or whatever our gun is. L1's nothing, at least right now. Same with L2, R2. And these buttons do nothing for now. Okay. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm glad, so far at least, that the controls are a lot better than last time. I mean, the, the controls weren't bad on on the first one. It's just when you played on... on um, the the normal or hard mode you had to the only way to shoot your guns was to aim them first oh that's weird oh so r1 actually this time instead it just locks you in a position so kind of like in uh, some diablo like games where you can force yourself to look in one direction while you're moving around that's what r1 does in this game more or less very neat okay Okay, we can also do a massive backflip. Give you a name? Like a, a character name or just any name? Uh, Jonathan is the first name that comes to mind. <laughs> I have no idea what it's for. But for some reason, that's what comes to mind. I guess I just missed my co-host. It's an indie horror game using the Half-Life 1 engine and it's free on Steam. Okay, I'll, at the very least, I'll check it out. Take a look at it, see if it's something that I'd be into. I do enjoy horror games. I don't play them too, too often, but I do enjoy them. A fragment with vital energy. Four pieces make one whole blue orb. Is this a sign? I mean, it's a sign, but it doesn't look like we can read it. Is this a train? Can we fall to our death in this one? We couldn't in the first one. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. That's a, that's good information to know. You never know what you're getting into whenever you get into a you know an action game, action platformer. Some of them you can just fall right off. Other ones have everything protected. It's better to find out early, I guess. If you remember right, the director was different than the original director. Got called in last minute. Okay. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> oh god, Chocobo. Also, hi Chocobo. But <laughs> uh, Sonic Six for a horror game. I feel it, man. Can't say that's what you would have picked, but if that's the name. That's the name. I still don't even know what the name is for. <laughs> what is? What was that bar that popped up? The little purple bar in the bottom left. What's that all about? So far, it feels very Devil May Cry, whether it had a different director or not. Like, if you hadn't said anything, I never would have guessed that this one had a different director than the first one. Hi, birdies. I like the little the little purple thing, the reticule that pops up. I don't remember that being a thing last time. Oh, is that the the health of the enemies or something? I think maybe that's the health of whatever enemy is currently in the the reticule. Yeah, okay. A little health bar action. I can dig it. You would say it's like the OG Resident with a little more action, better gameplay, and in first person. I mean, that all sounds excellent to me. <laughs> so I'll definitely check it out. A, uh, a really small horror game that I, I kind of dig. It was made to be like a PS1 game. Oh, shit. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Jonathan and I played it on the uh, podcast, or for the podcast, Halloween a couple years ago. Oh, damn. I, I really can't remember the name of it. That sucks. Shit. It was really interesting. It had an interesting premise to it. Uh, some sort of like post-apocalyptic thing going on, but you're just trapped in a in a apartment like the entire time. Like you have you have no idea as a player until much later on, but then weird things start to happen and you find a weird creature and you finally make it outside and everything's just kind of wrong. Like very, very wrong. 
and then that's it. The game ends. <laughs> the worst part about the game, honestly, was that it just ended way too fucking early. Like, I definitely wanted more from it. I wanted to know what happened to the world. Like, why is it so messed up? It caused a lot of difference. It caused a lot of differences, such as easier difficulty in the story being placed after anime. Still a good game, just had a lot of differences, supposedly. You know, I've never actually watched the Devil May Cry anime. I have no idea. Like, is it good? I've heard people talk about it before, but I've, I've never watched it. By the gods, why are you so freaking hungry? Noodle and I, well, I cooked for Noodle and I. Um, some, some fried up pork, some vegetables, and some rice. And then I put a general soy sauce on, on mine. I think Noodle ended up using some of the general soy sauce too. It was freaking delicious, dude. I am stuffed though. I wish. <laughs> so I've, I've had this general soy sauce, that, the one that I used tonight, for a long freaking time, man. I wish I would have tried it out forever ago because it's so good. It is amazing. I think it's just like the cheap stuff from Aldi. But holy hell, man. It tastes amazing. I uh, Noodle and I bought like these cheap um, Asian cook things from, I think it was from Walmart. Uh, but anyways, and, and I got a General Tso's one because I really like General Tso's. And we cooked it up. I take one bite of it and I'm like, something, something feels wrong here. So I, I instantly like <laughs> check the packaging and they use freaking oyster sauce in the sauce for the General Tso's, which is semi-common. I should have known to look first, but I didn't think about it. So obviously I didn't finish it because, you know, oysters are a type of shellfish. Now, granted, it's a different kind of shellfish. Not everyone that's allergic to shellfish is, uh, is allergic to oysters, but still not something I want to, you know, fuck around and find out with either. So yeah, I obviously didn't end up finishing mine, but because of that, I was really put off from General Tso's there for a bit. And I'm assuming that's why I didn't try the sauce that I had, even though it is not made with any oyster sauce or anything of the like. 91 Asian food. I love Asian food, man. I, uh, I really need to get it properly allergy tested. The only reason I don't eat Asian food more often is because of the, well, basically every Asian place I know of uses either oyster sauce or cooked shrimp and, you know, crab and all that BS. I'm noticing what you're saying about the difficulty for sure, Nate. It's definitely feeling a lot easier so far. Now, granted, we're still, you know, very early in the game, and the first Devil May Cry wasn't too hard until we got to, what was it, the second or third boss, and that's where we started getting our ass just kicked <laughs> real hard. They're like, uh, oh, okay, so that's our, our demon mode, devil mode, whatever the hell it's called. Crystal generated by immortals with the power of resurrection. So those are our one-ups. Good, good. I'm kind of remembering. I can't help but notice they got rid of the whole pop-up system they had in the first one. Where, like, as you were getting combos and things, it would pop up and say, you know, like, fantastic, amazing. Uh, I think there were, like, negative ones, too. Like, didn't it pop up sometimes and say, like, four or some shit, too? Interesting. It doesn't seem like it's possible to... Oh, never mind. It did just pop up. Why did it pop up that time, but not before? Uh, anyways, it doesn't seem like it's possible to change who you're locked on to. Unless I... Unless I'm missing something. Which, I mean, is definitely possible. The name was for your cursed Fallout New Vegas character. I mean, I don't know. Jonathan sounds like a pretty cursed name to me. <laughs> Is there anything back here? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe it's just because I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII lately. But uh, the music is giving me a little bit of Final Fantasy VII vibe. Specifically, like, I forget the name of the theme, but the one with Sephiroth. 
Do I do I hit you? What? Is it just a checkpoint? Can I not interact with it in any way? Stop going into the devil mode. Oh, there we go. Circle. Okay. Gain power by offering red orb. You can increase the power of your swords or your guns. I mean, generally speaking, I prefer the guns. Or you can purchase items as well. Oh, this looks... This looks very God of War all of a sudden. <laughs> 10,000 to upgrade that. How many do we actually have? 813. So a lot of these are the same from the last time. Way to enemy attacks up to three times. That's cool. All right, well, we're poor, so we're not going to buy any of that shit right now. Can we go down here? We can. Blue orb, please. Thank you. I'm finding myself wanting to turn the camera. <laughs> Even though I do generally like fixed perspective games, um, like right there, I just was trying to turn the camera so I could freaking see if anything was down the waterway instead of me having to, you know, actually walk all the way down there. I guess that's one argument for having control of the camera. You can walk less. <laughs> and that's the, the name of the game at the end of the day, right? That's everyone's goal. Just to walk as little as possible. <laughs> uh says the guy who likes to go hiking in his free time. If I could go hiking without walking, though, now we're talking. What are these, these demon dog things? Oh, they bleed blue. I wonder if that was like a censorship thing. Like, do they bleed blue because of artistic choice, or did someone make them make them bleed blue? It just feels out of place in this game, having having things without, you know, red gore. New Vegas for choosing your special, the starting charisma is called Substitute Teacher. <laughs> is it really? I've never noticed that. I mean, I've only ever, like, made a new character in New Vegas, I don't know, five, six times, something like that. So, <laughs> kind of surprised I've never noticed that, though. I wish New Vegas had more of a use for Charisma. Honestly, it's kind of just a dump stat. I mean, it was a dump stat in uh, Fallout 3 as well, honestly. When Endurance is classified as basically dead. That sounds about right, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Hiking is advanced walking, so at least you feel accomplished. Uh, yeah, sure. have no idea what I'm shooting, but it seems to be doing stuff, so. Is that everyone? Looks like it. Mysterious yellow orb, please. Oh, it's a key. <laughs> Not an orb. Close enough. Key to unlock an iron bar door. Any iron bar door or just one iron bar door? Is there anything we missed around here? Uh, red orb, we'll take it. And that appears to be it. Oh, nope, hold on. Oh no, that's the door we just unlocked. I'm an idiot. Prisma makes your companions better, but you end up dumping it along with intelligence for the funny dialogue. See, I don't really like companions in Bethesda games. The only thing I ever use the companions for is to uh, carry all my gear for me. You know, just turn them into a, a glorified <clears throat> pack mule. So what I've started doing recently in, in Bethesda games is just using the command console to give myself a one-time increase to my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, my carry weight, carry capacity, and then restarting the game so I can get achievements again. <laughs> or, you know, using one of the mods that allow you to get achievements after using mods and or cheats. Silence, what's up, man? Happy belated birthday, by the way. I didn't notice it was your birthday until a little bit late, but uh, still, happy, happy, happy birthday. I didn't mean to say happy three times, but <laughs> sometimes my stutter likes to act up. I don't know. Dino or crystal with condensed demon fluid. 
Uh, about that. <laughs> Condensed demon fluid. Something sounds a bit off there, man. They're actually good in New Vegas. Uh, yeah, I would say that in New Vegas, they're better than in most other Bethesda games. Probably because that one specifically wasn't made by Bethesda. But, uh, excuse me. But it's still just, I don't know. They feel like a, a liability, I guess. I do like the, the companion quests in New Vegas at the very least, though. I appreciate that there was a bit more to them than just, you know. Like in, in Skyrim, for instance, 90% of the companions were just there. They really didn't do a whole lot. There wasn't really a whole lot of point to having them other than help you in combat and or carry your shit around. Oh, do you mean the guy from the uh, dinosaur? That sniper? I forget the name of the town, but I'll always remember that, that dude with the beret and shit. Boom, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Pretty purple fire. Oh god, I thought my game froze up for a second. I was like, dude, please... Please tell me it didn't just freeze up. I'd be so freaking sad. But no, we're good. We're good. We still get ranks for missions. I, I never understood that in the first Devil May Cry game. Why they split the game up into missions the way they did. But, eh. Outer Worlds Companions are great. Speaking of that company. I've never played Outer Worlds either. It's been on my list of games that I want to try out for freaking ever now. But yeah. Having, haven't had the chance to try it one of these days because it does look really really good I'm how does everyone feel about Starfield while we're on the topic of uh of thank you for being here silence while we're on the topic of Bethesda how does everyone feel about Starfield because I I have my thoughts on it I'll say that much good grief they really made a big mess didn't they Probably not gonna get it. Yeah. It sure took him I know, like, my brother's super hyped for it. Super fucking hyped. You have arrived, How about you, Nate? Uh, Brew, if you're still around. Oh, wait, yeah, you're still around. You just said happy late birthday not too long ago. You knew him? Oh, yes. We are the guardians of this land. I don't want to share my thoughts until... I give everyone else a chance to share theirs. I don't want to. I don't want to sway anyone one way or the other. You know. We must ask this favor of you. You see, there's a man who's transformed. Eating up Elder Scrolls dev time. That's very true. Very true. You're excited for it, Nate? Yeah, I. I. You have a question, Noodle? Okay, I'll say what I think after Noodle. But what's your question, Noodle? He uses the demon power. I mean, don't all CEOs use demon power? <laughs> I thought they were all secretly demons, man. I don't know. Looks like it's your lucky day. Wonderful. I am very pleased. It leads to a harbor. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Sparta. Why doesn't Microsoft just give Fallout to Obsidian? Um, that's actually something that's rumored to, to happen. Not like straight up give it to them, but uh, there's been rumors floating around ever since Microsoft acquired Bethesda that they would give the go-ahead for Obsidian to make a New Vegas 2 after they fin finish up some of the projects they're already working on. Because they're working on Outer Worlds 2. Um, they're working on their Elder Scrolls knockoff. And they're also working on, aren't they the ones making that game where you play as little tiny people the size of, um, whatchamacallit, the size of, like, small bugs and things, the survival game, where you're, you're, you're shrunk down to, to nothing? I'm pretty sure they're also making that game. So, like, they got a lot of shit going on, but after they wrap up some of those projects, it's rumored they'll be working on New Vegas, too. I guess we'll see. Uh, anyways, yeah, as far as my st thoughts about Starfield... I'm, um, 
I most likely am going to get it and play it. Let's be honest. But it looks a little too generic shootery to me personally. Um, and the fact that they're they're really pushing the whole idea of, of these, what was it, like a thousand explorable worlds or something. It may not have been that many. It may have only been like a hundred or something. But regardless, the fact that they're talking about there being that many fully explorable worlds screams to me procedural generation. Which is fine. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But it usually leads to, to stuff that's not that interesting to 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 explore, you know? Um, so I feel like there's going to be little hubs on a handful of the worlds. Maybe even every world with one or two interesting things to do. And the rest of the time it's going to end up being like what um, that one space game was in the, in the beginning. Uh, the one that, that really let everyone down. I forget the name of it. But anyways... You know, I had the same premise of being able to, to explore a, a vast procedurally generated universe and things. And, and for a long time, it ended up just being a bit of a letdown. And even now that, that they've had more time to work on it and I've heard that it's gotten better, it seems like most people that I've talked to like playing it for, for a small period of time. And then they just kind of get burnt out on it because there's not that much interesting content to keep them attached to it. So I'm, I'm, I'm very... Uh, I don't know. I'm very, I'm very hesitant to, to let any hype build up. I guess really, because I'm a little, I'm a little iffy on it. That's for sure. No Man's Sky. That's the name of it. Thank you, Joker. Though. Yes, that's the one I was trying to think of. Minecraft is procedurally generated. I mean, no, it is, and I'm not saying procedurally generation on its own is bad. Um, but I think procedural generation lends itself a lot better to a survival game where the main goal of the game isn't, you know, playing through a story or, or strictly exploring, but to survive. <laughs> I think it lends itself much better to that type of gameplay than it does with what Bethesda normally makes, you know? Games that Bethesda normally make, half of the fun is, is, is exploring the land that you're in, the interesting land, and, and, and finding unique characters to talk to and, and seeing their story unfold. And I don't know how well that's going to work if 90% if of the game is procedurally generated, right? I mean, it's just like the, the classic Bethesda games. Your um, Elder Scrolls 1 and 2, you know, they used a shit ton of procedural generation. But outside of the towns, there was basically no reason to go anywhere else because nowhere else really had anything important to do. All right, Noodle. Are you going to have to adapt to Google Pay now? Most likely, yes. We switched phones. <laughs> we we have new phones, and Noodle is Noodle is used to using uh, Samsung Pay, but now they're gonna have to to get used to using. Ooh, we fell in a hole to using Google Pay, I suppose. No Man's Sky is significantly better now, and that's what I was that's what I was saying. I've heard that it has gotten a lot better, but how much time, you know, have you actually put in to to playing it um, before you just got, you know, felt like you didn't need to play it anymore got bored of it or whatever because i can tell you right now that i've put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into like the elder scrolls 5 skyrim or fallout 3 or or fallout 4 not as much probably only like 150 or something like that but you get the point you know like those games i can i can sit and play them forever whereas no man's sky i couldn't see myself playing it for more than i don't know 40 hours maybe something like that before I just kind of got got tired of it I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here is it something to do with with these these torches things no doesn't seem like it I mean I assume we have to do something with the floor right it feels like you would have to do something with the floor but none of these tiles are like making a noise or or depressing or doing anything. So I'm very lost on what to do. Maybe we need to go back. Maybe there's more we need to do in the other area first. Hmm. I'm lost already. That's good. I'm supposed to find meth. Wait, in which game? No Man's Sky. <laughs>
Now, full disclosure, though, I haven't personally played No Man's Sky yet. It's another one of those games that have been on my list for a long time to play, and I just haven't gotten around to. But it's a similar story of my brother being extremely hyped for it, and then it coming out and just not being, like, that good, which is another thing that kind of uh, makes me weary about Starfield. Because it seems like every game he gets super hyped for ends up being a huge letdown whenever it comes out. He was super hyped for Starfield, or I'm sorry, for, for No Man's Sky. He was super hyped for, um, fucking that CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk 2077. He was super hyped for that. And obviously both of those games came out and were okay at best <laughs> at launch. Like, <laughs> in, in real life, IRL. Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> If you don't get into the freighter mission, you miss a big part of the grind. One of these days I'll try it out, especially now that it has the uh, the the actual multiplayer and whatnot. I think that would go a long way into making the game more enjoyable, being able to play it with friends and things. Map, what are we missing? We can't move the map or anything. I'm assuming the part that's highlighted is the part that we're in currently. Let's go over here and then see if something else highlights. Okay, the part that's blinking is the part that we're actually in. Gotcha. Huh. There's got to be something in this room, man. <laughs> Oh god, I keep coughing, I'm sorry. It's fun to upgrade ship and colonies, but if you don't have the money, you're pretty much just collecting rocks. <laughs> That's that, that, what's that other space game? That, uh, people dump a shit ton of, of money into real IRL to, to build up, like, massive ships and things like that. Oh, we had to press the action button on it. Light the blue fame, and then the way will open. Wait, what? I'm confused. What are we what are we doing? Do we have to hit all these things? Eve online, there it is. Oh, we have to break them all. That makes sense. And each one we break lights a blue flame in the background there. Go, got it. Now it's gonna switch to the other ones? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. We figured it out eventually. New Dawn. Wait, what is New Dawn? Is that a game similar to like Eve Online or something like that? Astro Near. That game sounds super familiar. go. I like this pattern. Come on. Damn you. <laughs> oh, thank God. We don't have to break them all. We just have to break enough. There we go. That should be it. Got it. Yeah, Astroneer sounds super familiar, dude. I'm going to look it up real quick. A-S-T-R-O-N-E-R. Images. I've definitely seen the cover art for it, but I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone play it. It's cute. I like the art style for it. The little alien dude that I'm looking at right now is pretty cool, too. <laughs> it's on Steam. It's like Ark with aliens and space travel. Which one? New Dawn or Astroneer? Or both. <laughs> Because, I mean, it sounds like you just described the pictures to Astroneer, so <laughs> I'm not positive which game you were talking about. Honestly, could have been either one. Basically, Space Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for it, man. That's, I really like um, this game, whose name I, I've forgotten because that's what I do. I forget things. 
Uh, you know, like uh, Game of Thrones, the dwarf T Tyrion is that his name? Who says, you know, I'm a dwarf. I drink and I know things, or whatever it is that he says. I don't remember the exact line. Yeah, I'm I'm literally the opposite. I don't drink and I don't know things. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that's that's how I work. What the hell is that game called? I think it starts with an S. It, it's basically, yeah, Tyrion. Um, it's basically fucking Terraria, but you can travel to different planets. Yeah, nope. Can't remember the name of it for some reason. Game called Timberborn? Dude, I have beaten Timberborn <laughs> a couple times. I love Timberborn. Timberborn, for people who are wondering, is a uh, colony management game slash sim bu uh, city builder, but in a post-apocalyptic Earth where all humans have died and beavers are now the dominant species <laughs> in the world. And your goal is to build up a city that they can thrive in and, and uh, also, you know, help them survive the, the dry season that, that happens every week or so, depending on how far you are into the game. Tyrion Lannister. Spore? <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not Spore. I I tried to play Spore when I was younger. Um and I dude, I just I can't I can't get that into it. It's like I got to the point to where like I got out of the, the ocean, right? And my, my dude evolved and I started moving around land, but the, the way you move around land is just so weird. Like, I don't know. And then you interact with the different colonies and things. It's it's odd. What the hell is it called? It's in my Steam list. Let me just pull up Steam real quick. Oh, God. Now Steam's going to have to load. Uh, <laughs> Star, Star Bound. Star Bound. That's it. I didn't even get it. Didn't even get Steam loaded yet. But yeah, it's Star Bound. It, it's, it's literally just fucking um, Terraria, but, but you have a spaceship and you can go to other places. The only downside to it compared to Terraria is Terraria has a ton of like cool bosses and secrets and stuff. This game doesn't have nearly as many secret bosses and things, but it tries to make up for it by having, you know, an infinite universe that you can explore. So I played a little bit of Spore, like I mentioned, but not, not a ton. Never got that far into it. Starbound's a lot of fun though. I, I did really enjoy it, but uh, yeah, after after playing like I don't know twenty hours at a time or something, I start to get a little little bored of it. I'm not gonna lie. I it has a pretty decent modding community too, which is nice. I really like uh, there's like Starbound. There's a, a, a massive overhaul mod. I forget the name of it, but that one's really good. And there's I don't remember if it's that one or a different one, but there's one that adds like storage systems and things to help you keep all of your stuff organized. And, uh, bees, <laughs> of course, you can add bees to the game. And, uh, that one's kind of fun. Um, and then it, it's neat, too, how it handles your characters. So, like, whenever you play in multiplayer, it just uses your same universe file uh, from the host as whatever they currently have. So you can actually, like, find your planet and things. Or, um... Uh, or you can take, you know, your, your character that you play single player over to a multiplayer game. And in that case, anything that you have on your ship gets to go with you because, you know, it's your spaceship, but you'll still be spawned on a new world or whatever. Uh, you can also, like, rent out spaces to tenants and things like that. Like, build them, them houses and have them move in and just all kinds of stuff like that. Goatlings, huh? Weird. Get fucked, Goatling. If you want to come down here, that would be fine by me, man. The ad gods are working too quick. Starbound popped up in your suggested already. It's a great game, man, honestly. Like, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> Sadly, there were some accusations about the developers being kind of shit. Um, specifically while working on that game, like 
just basically taking advantage of people and things, which is, you know, not a good look. But the game itself is a lot of fun, though. this a new power? What's with, what's with the glowing orb? Aerial heart. A magic stone with the heart of a flying demon bird. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean I can be a flying demon bird? Because honestly, I'm all for that, dude. Wing me up. Dude, it totally does. <laughs> Sick. Wait, how do we how do we go down? We just naturally go down over time. Okay, we can still shoot. That reacts a little differently. Okay, we should probably get to where we're going. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's what the thing on the ground here does. Refill that for us. Yeah, dude. Okay, refill and then get the hell out of here. I like them giving more purpose to the demon mode in this game. Because in the other one, the demon mode was only really useful for, like, you know, beating the shit out of stuff, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, but yeah. Heard about devs for a drawing, not so nice things of children, which is genuinely disgusting. I didn't hear that. Are you talking about Starbound? I know that was a potential problem with the uh that new vegas mod um some of the the devs that were working on that big new vegas mod had to be kicked out of the team and some of their things re redone because of things like that i didn't hear anything like that about starbound but i totally could have missed it not starbound okay okay it's definitely a possibility, so I wasn't sure which uh, which one you were talking about, because, yeah, you never fucking know, dude. The key to the next journey begins and ends with death. Awesome. Fallout the Frontier, that was the name of it, yep. Fun fact, I know a voice actor from that game. Or that mod. IRL. Time a bed for me. One more work day to go through this week. So tomorrow I should be good to watch the whole stream. Dude, don't feel bad. <laughs> Get some sleep, man. Get some sleep. Thank you for being here, Rue. I hope you have a good night, man. You do too, Nate? Well, yeah. I'm, I imagine it's the same person <laughs> that I know. <laughs> I, I think I would have been more surprised if you didn't know him, honestly. Oh, shit, we can fly. No, we can't. We have... <laughs> we lost our demon power when we got here. Damn it. I want the thing. Give me the thing. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Can we, like, glitch our way up there with the guns? <laughs> the guns make us fly, dude. You hate having to wake up early, but night. Same. Honestly, waking up early is the worst. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't go to bed until like 4 or 5 in the morning and then get up like 1-ish most days. I mean, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I imagine we should just, just follow the red orbs. I haven't known him that long. I've only known him for probably about 6 years or something like that now. The voice actor dude. Cool guy though. Oh god. Stop burning me, you bastards. Who's doing the burning? Is it the goatling? Where is the goatling? He's working on another big project? Oh, trust me, I know. Me and him talk. Can I not, like, is he too far away or something? I would like to shoot him, please, because I'm, I'm, I imagine he's the one summoning all this damn fire. And the fire's kind of annoying, bro. Ow.
Get wrecked. Oh, that actually got rid of everyone. I guess maybe the other people were like infinitely spawning as long as he was still alive. I wasn't really expecting that. Gotta be honest. I wish there was like a sprint button or something. Just wanted the red orbs. Give me orbs, please. You don't run into him much anymore? Just saw a post he made? Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. And it's not like we talk every day or anything like that, but you know, whenever we see each other out and about or anything like that, we stop and catch up. Hello? I don't see you. I heard you spawn in. And apparently I can shoot you, so we'll just do that, I guess. Uh -huh. Seriously, though, where the hell? That's the one problem with the, the camera angles in Devil May Cry, man. It, they don't always do a particularly good job of showing you your enemies. Something I feel like God of War did a really good job of was making sure to uh, spawn things where you can actually see them. Like, within the field of vision. Although, not always. Not always. There are definitely some, some levels, some sections where things spawn just outside of the camera view and then get a couple cheap shots on you before you get the chance to do anything. And it's annoying as hell. Always think of the Medusas in God of War 2. Because they'll be like just off screen somewhere, just blasting you, turning you into stone, and you can't even see them. Okay. Can't do anything there yet. Map. Uh, the very first one. I think he actually did a couple voices, but... But yeah. I didn't expect everyone to respawn whenever I came back over to the door, but... Three red orbs? Question mark? I'll accept it. Five thousand five hundred fifty-five. I was gonna say, what are the chances of coming across a perfect number like that? But it looks like each one of those things gives us five orbs, so I guess probably actually pretty decent. And back down we go. Can we go through? Is this a door we can actually go through here? Should we go through it now? Gate is firmly shut. It's controlled somewhere from the station. So that's a no. Uh, I think we have enough to upgrade our sword. Yeah, do it. Enhance the sword. How did it get enhanced? I'm assuming it just does more damage now. All the combos and everything seem the same. Uh, excuse me? I'm not trying to run up the wall. I would like to interact. Guess that's a no. Maybe this door. The one with the thingy floating above it. <laughs> I like the zombie demon dog things just falling out of the sky, dude. Ooh, what are you? You look fancy. Rangara? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is like our first real boss, isn't it? Probably try and be careful. Okay. Circles dodge roll. Oh, dude. Kicking his fucking ass, man. Let's go. Finally logged into everything. Congrats, Noodle. I uh, haven't even worried about it with my new phone. 
I'm just gonna log into things as I need them, basically, is my plan. I made sure to log into, like, my work app and, and, you know, YouTube, YouTube music. All the important stuff, but everything else is just, eh, whatever. Whenever I get to... Whenever I need it, I'll log into it then. I probably should log into, like, Snapchat and shit, though, in case anyone tries to message me. You like to log in so you're not mad when you need to use it? So you also have a lot harder time remembering your passwords and stuff than I do, though. So, I mean, it makes a little more sense for you, I feel like. I generally don't struggle to, to get logged back into things, but you seem to always, always struggle getting logged back into all of your random apps. Key to unlock a huge gate blocking a passage from the station to the harbor. So you mean you mean that locked door? The the key that we got unlocks the only locked door? I never would have guessed, man. Thank you. All your passwords are the same for the most part. I used to do that, but then uh, one of my passwords was on one of those, you know, big leaked lists that came out years and years and years ago. So I, uh, I changed all of my passwords, every single one, and they're all something unique now. None of them are the same thing. Now, granted, the one that leaked I was only using for, like, a handful of things anyways, because it was a really old one, and I had uh, updated it at one point. But, you know, that was kind of the... The reminder that I needed that, hey, things get leaked sometimes. <laughs> so if you have one password for everything, dude, that can that can lead to some problems real quick. So I had to, I had to stop doing that. There's something you can't get into and you gave up. You think it's an app you don't use that often? Well, I mean, if you can't even remember what app it is, then <laughs> it's probably not that important. Get dash lane? Yeah, dude, get dash lane. Dashlane is a uh, password manager. I mean, Google has their own password manager, too. And it even works with apps and things like that, for the most part. It's a little sketch sometimes. Um, like, sometimes it won't detect, for some reason, that you're in a password field. But most of the time, Google can detect when you're in a password field. And if, if it's one that you have saved for a website and not for an app, you can go in and, like, select it from your list of saved passwords and, and then save it for the app and things like that. Like... It generally works pretty well. It's not perfect, but yeah. Anyways, guys, now that we uh, cleared not only that mission, but that boss, I think it's the perfect time to take a little break. Since I, I'm definitely more excited for Devil May Cry 2 than I am for 007, I think we're going to play maybe another 45 minutes-ish of Devil May Cry 2, and then do like an hour of 007 is what I'm thinking for tonight. But regardless, that's for later. For now, we're going to go ahead and take our break. We will be back in like three to five minutes, guys. Here is yellow dots on the circular map. Okay. Enemy troops have arrived. Uh, I mean, so just eat the shit. Okay. You got it, man. We'll eat the shit. Bastard. Can you imagine hitting a girl like that? So freaking rude. <laughs> oh, we're starting the food talk early today? I just ate pizza before the stream. That's why I was late, actually. Because uh, instead of picking up food today, we, we ordered uh, food to be delivered. And, uh, yeah, we had to wait for it to arrive. <laughs> uh, do I smack it? Yep, there we go. So treasure you just pick up. Everything else you gotta pick up. I didn't mean to open the magic menu. Eat the mulberry, apparently. Oh. Cypher's part two. New text added to the archive. By absorbing phosons, the weapon's attack power is enhanced. Also, it is said that the absorbed phosons can be used to cast various magic spells. Well, obviously. We kinda know that already. In battle, where one's life is always in danger, many soldiers hide their valuables before fighting to feature enemies quickly before they hide their treasure. Okay. Also kind of a neat way to explain away the whole... Uh... Sorry, I was just like... That menu that popped up, I wasn't sure what it was. I didn't know if that was something that would always happen when we hit up, but no, it's only at the exit. Um... 
and I've forgotten what I'm saying, but whatever. <laughs> well, she is known as Odin's Witch, so. Hey, I did too, actually. You had four cheese pierogies, boiled them, then fried them in water. I love pierogies. We usually just fry ours or uh, boil them and then fry them in butter. Mm, so freaking good. To open any chest, you either have to have the key or just hit it a bunch. <laughs> I'm assuming it's one or the other. Should have got a hold of me, lol. Yeah, honestly, I probably would have got it faster if I had, but... Oh, well. Zachary suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. Usually, what, uh, since I work on Fridays, I usually just pick it up on the way home, but I didn't feel like it tonight. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, having uh, Odin and, and Odin's daughters and stuff like that with this art style. Again, I love the art style. It looks really good. But, like... That's not what I imagine when I see or think of Odin or whatever, though, you know? Fried him in butter, you meant, lol? <laughs> I was wondering. I mean, I've heard of people, quote-unquote, frying things in water. It's not, but people call it that. See, it, I don't know, man. Odin seems like he's kind of hurting. Like, the voice actor here is making it sound like he's kind of sad about it, you know? But, like... But he's very war-focused, obviously. I still owe you pierogies and steak. That's true, actually. I do, Noodle. You're right. Pierogies and steak sound wonderful. <laughs> we did end up eating pierogies, though, didn't we? Not too long ago? No save data found. Well, no shit. It's my first save. Let me do it. I, uh, Odin is, like, super old, actually, so it makes sense, but that was my first thoughts as well. Nope. <laughs> I, uh, oh, shit, what was I gonna say? Oh, what I was going to say earlier, I got sidetracked at some point. A big surprise, I know. But, uh, Demon Lord's Castle. Hey, that's my buddy's name. He's on screen right now, and the, the stream boss up there. Demon Lord. <laughs> I don't think he knows this game. I don't think he got it from here, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, anyways, the game is a bit scratched up, so I'm a little bit worried it might freeze at some point. But when I when I ran the uh, the check on it, everything came across just fine. So at least like my regular disk drive is able to read it okay. So hopefully the PS2 one can as well. He definitely is not torn up later in Gwendolyn's story. You'll see how he expresses affection. You're getting a bathroom reading, so if you need me, you might need to say my name a few times. Noodle, hey Noodle, Noodle, can you hear me, Noodle? I'm just joking, you're fun. <laughs> mini pierogies are awesome. I 100% agree, man. I love pierogies in general, but mini pierogies got like the perfect mix of pasta to filling. Hello, hello, hello. We're back. <laughs> now that the, the eight ball made me angry. Why is it on cooldown? That doesn't make sense, man. No one's used it today. Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> it hasn't been used in how long? <laughs> I'm so confused. Whatever. She has many arms but only one heart as she waits for the hunter deep in the water. What? Is that supposed to help me in some way? I don't know what that means. <laughs> it does that when you use it the first time? It shouldn't, though. Like... It, it should just work. <laughs> I don't... Did you forget it was doing that? I don't know if I ever knew it was doing that. I thought it just worked. I like to think during break I use a flip phone to chat. What? <laughs> uh... Most of the time during break, I'm still by my computer. Most of the time. I usually stand up, stretch, take a drink of water or whatever. But I'm usually still right, right next to the computer. So I just, you know, type it out. Did to you, Andrew? I guess I just haven't noticed or something. Either that or, you know, I, I forgot because I'm good at that too. At forgetting. If I were to have one skill, forgetting would be it, man. 
really good at forgetting stuff. Just don't pay attention to us. I read damn near every message that comes through. And reply to damn near every message that comes through. I have to pay at least a modicum of attention to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to say some don't slip past me unnoticed every now and then, but... You know. Oh! Okay, that one's different. That one doesn't pop up <laughs> on my screen. That one only pops up on the uh, the side screen here. So that one's a little harder for me to notice. Someone's just got to call it out whenever they do something like that. But yes, I'm reversed now. My controller is upside down. I'm now moving with my right hand and jumping with my left. It's weird. Crystal with Vital Force that will increase the capacity of your vitality. Cool. Okay, so that's dodge roll. That's guns. This is attack. And up is down. Down is up. That shouldn't be that hard for me to get a hold of. Uh, to get a hold of. To, to get used to. Considering, you know, I play games like that all the time. Although, normally it's for the camera, not for the movement. <laughs> I think the, the weird part's going to be... Honestly getting used to the to the jumping and, and attacking Thankfully it has like that that auto lock on thing going on that makes it a lot easier to do anything with it with an upside-down controller, dude uh, You guys can stop spawning in in time now that's fine I also, I just realized on this one, you didn't give you the choice of what difficulty you wanted to play. It just automatically put us on normal mode? Maybe it, uh... Like, if you die too many times or something, maybe it just automatically takes you down to easy, or, or maybe it offers you easy mode? I know, like, I assume it's like Devil May Cry 1, where you don't unlock the harder difficulty until you beat the game the first time. Which, I mean, that makes sense. That kind of stuff kind of annoys me, but it does make sense, honestly. Just because games like God of War that I've played so many times, so I w it would be nice if I could just go straight into the, the hardest difficulty whenever I go back and replay it, but maybe I don't have my original save file or memory card or whatever anymore. But at the same time, you probably don't want someone that's never played the game before or, or any of its sequels or prequels, I mean, or anything like that to uh, hydrate. Okay. I will gladly hydrate, man. Always up for a nice drink of water. Um, but anyways, yeah, someone who's never played the game before, you probably don't want them going straight into the hardest difficulty of a game and then being like, well, this game's fucking ass. <laughs> you know? Like... That just seems like a good way to have people hate your game for no reason. At the same time, though, you know, it's kind of on them at that point. If they do that sort of thing and then don't realize maybe why the reason they're not enjoying the game is because they're playing on a, on a difficulty that's way too hard for them. This section looks familiar. You know what? This might be the section, man. I, Whenever we were playing Devil May Cry 1, I'm pretty sure I mentioned... I remember one time me and my cousin were hanging out. And there was a section of the game where... Um, like, for whatever reason, he just could not do it. And it was just... It was a pretty simple, like, just run from point A to point B within a certain amount of time. Sort of, kind of section. And uh, I was like, do you mind if I try? And I did it, like, the first try. Generally speaking, he was better at games than me, especially since, you know, he's, like, four years older than me. But for whatever reason, that, that one section I was able to do with ease. And it looked very similar to this section here. I remember I... It's bringing back memories, like, being on a, on a pier dock sort of thing. Water being in the... On the side... But I don't see any locked gates here besides that one. So unless we find a switch up here somewhere that we need to hit to open it. Uh, 
Uh, get off the bar, please. Thank you, Dante. All right. Doesn't look like there's anything else over there to do. I'm going to do one extra minute of the reverse reverse because I missed the message there at the beginning. Is that it? Yeah, dude, this is totally the section. This is definitely it. Holy hell. That is sick. I can't believe I found it. Well, I mean, I guess I can. It was, it was only a matter of time. Oh, God, no. <laughs> That's not gonna... Yeah, okay. Well, thankfully, reverse reverse is over now. There's no way we were gonna make it with a reverse reverse on. Jump into water, you can't. This game has invisible walls stopping you from uh, jumping into places you shouldn't be going. So how did I do it? Did I maybe dodge roll all the way over? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on! Yes, dude, let's go! Yeah, that section right there, that specific section, for some reason, he just could not get that. And then I ended up getting it. I felt really good. I don't remember how old I was when it happened, but doing something my, my older cousin couldn't, that was a proud gamer moment right there, man. Why are you so hype again? When I was younger, my uh, cousin was playing this game. I was just kind of hanging out. And uh, for some reason, he could not do that section. And I couldn't remember what game it was from. But obviously, it was from this one. Oh, dude, another boss. Okay. Uh... Ow. Ow. <laughs> can, can I get up, please? Can I hit it with a sword? Okay, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Neither does shooting. Uh, game? How, how you work? I'm... I'm very confused here, I'm not gonna lie. Are we not supposed to be here yet? <laughs> Maybe we have to be in devil mode? Oh, okay, okay, we can cut them off. And then I'm assuming once we cut them off, then we can attack the, the main head part. Oh, we can just jump up here, dude. Let's freaking go. Get wrecked, bro. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why we can't stay up there forever. Come on. Okay, it's gone. No, lock onto the head. Lock onto the head. God damn it. <laughs> We're gonna end up dying. Start blasting. Oh shit, dude, yeah. No, I think we're gonna die. Holy hell. That freaking gas or whatever she's spitting out is, is, isn't is helping anything. S stop with the tentacle. I don't want to attack the tentacle. I want to attack the head. Okay, yeah. We're going to die. We're going to have to redo this section. There's got to be a way to, like, lock on to, to something else, man. To move the reticule from one, one place to another. 
Oh shit, I had a, I had a revive orb. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I had one of those revive orb. <laughs> That's actually a huge help there, man. Get, get up, fly up, dude. Attack the freaking head, please. Let's go, dude. I wasn't even paying attention. I had turned my head to get rid of the uh, <laughs> the requests in the queue. And then I turned back around and we're just getting freaking pounded on. Uh, big orb. Thank you. Can I actually ride the motorcycle? Oh, no, it's just a shotgun. That looked a lot like a motorcycle to me. I don't know. <laughs> now loading. Do we loading into a motorcycle section? There we go, man. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that's how we're going to get across. That's pretty sick. Go, Dante. You're going to get a shower? Okay, love. I'll be here. Seven thousand. That's not enough, is it? To upgrade anything. I think it's ten thousand to upgrade our our guns and our our sword. Close to your eyes, but far off in your mind, the hunter must learn the value of options. Why do all these like proverbs and things gotta be cryptic as hell, man? Why can't they ever just say like, yo, this thing's gonna happen, watch out? Lame. I mean, we could buy an item. Holy shit, the gold orb's 10,000 as well? Never mind. I mean, a, a health refill probably would be nice, but I also don't want to waste any of our, our power-up points, <laughs> whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't want to waste any of them on it, you know? I want to keep those for powering up our swords and, and guns and whatnot. This, uh, can I break this? No. Is this a road? This looks kind of like a road. I'm used to Devil May Cry 1 with this whole, like, everything taking place in that big console thing. How do we switch guns? I guess it's probably, like, uh, not options. Like Devil May Cry 1 where you have to go into the menu here? What? Yeah. We only have the one. Guns. Shotgun. Equip. Is that going to be better against these, these wolf dog things? Uh, I'm not positive, honestly. Maybe. I'm guessing they work kind of like you would expect a shotgun to, to work, you know? When you're close, they do more damage than something like a pistol would. But from far away, you don't hit them with as many pellets, so either lower accuracy or lower damage, possibly both, when things are farther away. Get wrecked, dog. Oh, he's got a charge attack? Dude, you didn't even get close. Get wrecked, dog. Wait, I take it back? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want none of that smoke, dude. Weird demon, bro. You can keep your dogs. I uh, I don't even, I don't even like dogs, man. Just they're yours. Yes, sir. The gun is the most powerful tool you have. I think it's probably situational. Like, if you can get right up on something, I gotta imagine the sword does more damage, or at least more DPS, than, uh, than the guns do, but... Of course, it probably depends on what you spend your time leveling up as well, right? Like, if you just focus all of your, your points on leveling up the gun, then yeah, it probably would end up being a lot more powerful. Just spam the gun for everything. Come <laughs> on. 
I mean, you can, but yeah, no, I definitely think... I definitely think the, the sword does more DPS than the, than the gun does. Ow. I wish they had a way to quickly change your, your weapons. Like, the D-pad doesn't really do anything. I mean, you can use it for movement, but most people are probably going to use the... The analog stick for movement, so why not let you use the D-pad to switch your weapons or something mid-battle? Maybe just nobody had thought of that, that control scheme yet? It's a pretty common one these days, but gotta remember this game was made back in 2000 and what? Two thousand like three or something like that. Why not button for gun and sword? Yeah, yeah. Like you mean the the D pad? Like I was saying, it'd be nice if like left and right switched your sword or something, and then up and down switch your guns. I don't know. Because the way the controls work, like one button's dedicated to sword all the time, sword attack. The other button's dedicated to gun attack all the time. So you can quickly switch between gun and sword. But you have no way of quickly switching your guns and sword. Uh, like between the shotgun and pistols or between... I'm assuming you can uh, unlock other guns eventually. Like X's gun and circle of sword... Or square sword. Pretty close actually. Square is gun and triangle is sword. Yeah. It can't seem to go over there at all. I feel like there's going to be stuff somewhere. Maybe? Not even some orbs? Give me something, man. What's the point of having this big open area if you ain't going to have anything hidden in it? Come on. Okay, there's one thing of red orbs. <laughs> Is that it? Either that's it, or we missed something else, man. I think that's it. That and the statue. What the hell? I don't even care about the statue right now. Oh, wait. Another thing of red orbs. Well, okay, then. Oh, it seems like you can't do the, the same trick with the shotgun as you can with the pistols. With climbing up uh, higher on walls than you should really be able to. Like, it still causes you to float for a second, but the pistols, since the animation's shorter for it, seems like you can get uh, more height out of it than you can with the shotgun. going is this down or is this up that must have been up oh we like went down and came back up the other side i was gonna say that looks like up to me man and we definitely went down into the hole to start with oh hey there oranga bro Nothing like a, a, a good mi a misused, reused boss. What is that? <laughs> this is, that is not that is not our shotgun. That's for sure. We just got machine gun hands, like shooting out bolts of electricity or something. That's pretty cool, man. This dude's got a lot more health this time. I want to I wanna switch back to the other one so we can stay just a little bit farther back from him. The handguns instead of the shotgun. Whenever we went into devil mode, we had like a machine gun style stream of electricity coming out of our hands. Like... I would really like if you stayed somewhere I could see you, Oranga Bro. Because you have range attacks. Maybe if I, like, get up here or something, maybe. Will you follow me? There we go. Let's go. 
Oh shit, dude. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Yep, that right there. That's why it would be really nice if I could actually see you. Wait, did we just leave? No, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to kill him. Ah, I feel like a bitch now, man. We just ran away. I'm sorry, is that a demon tank? Since when do demons take over tanks? Well, that's new. Infested tank, yeah. What the hell? Do you... Does it have... I'm not sure if it can do anything if we're on top of it or not. What kind of can is that? 75 mil, 102 mil? I have no idea. Ow, there's another one? What did we just get shot by? Oh, there are more of them. That's not good. <laughs> I need help. That orangutan damn near killed me, man. <laughs> are we supposed to just be dodging everything? Like, running away from them? Or are we supposed to be standing and fighting? At this point, I'm not sure. I kind of wish I would have grabbed some, <laughs> some of those health packs. Now, I think we have one, actually. Yeah, Vital Star S. Use it, please. <laughs> we need all of the health we can get right now. Alright, that might be okay. It seems like whenever we get on top of the tanks, we're mostly safe. Except for, you know, obviously shots from the other one. And then we did get hit by something while we were on top, but I couldn't tell what it was. But we were losing health. I don't see... I, I'm honestly not even 100% sure what we're attacking. Are we attacking the tank itself? Okay, yeah, see right there. Oh, there's like a dude that popped up with a gun or something and was shooting us. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Like some sort of operator inside of it with a with a little SMG or something. Sure. Kind of makes sense. Hi there. I have a proposition for you, bud. How about you just die real quick, and uh, we continue on with our lives. I can't tell where it's shooting from. There's definitely something shooting me from somewhere on this tank, though. That's the worst tank you've ever seen. It's an infested tank. <laughs> Devil May Cry in a city just feels so weird since I've only played the first one. I don't know with like the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. I don't know how they're laid out, but blue orb, dope, more health. Please and thank you, we just fell. Were we supposed to fall here? Maybe? Either progression or secrets. I don't know which. Oh, is that another devil power? What do we get this time? Can we turn into a tank? <laughs> Just imagining tank Dante now. Filled with the heart of a vigorous battle god. Offense heart. Oh, shit. We can quickly switch our guns. So that's what the L2 button does. Well, that's good to know. Uh, how do we... What is it? Equip. Amulet. Enhances your attack power while in Dev Devil Trigger. Oh, okay. So it doesn't give us any new abilities. It just makes our attack stronger. Makes sense. And I think that's all there was to do here. 
Okay, I'm sorry. We could not walk through that. That looked like a giant freaking hole, but whatever. Uh, so where are we going? Oh. Right here. Secret room level one. Never mind. This is a secret room. Well, shit, dude. Get fucked. Eat my <laughs> hand machine guns. Oh shit, our power ran out very quick. <laughs> we need to increase that, man. We've got our health increased a couple times. We need to increase our, our devil limit or whatever the hell you want to call it. Mana pool? I really don't know what it's meant to be. So we can spend more time in the in the devil mode. That was an easy secret room. White orb. A crystal with condensed demon tears. It will recover your magic power. Thank you. I guess it is a mana pool then if it's our magic power thing. Go into the light. Oh, that's bright. That's really bright. She takes this back outside. Okay. I'm thinking we messed up this jump up here. Maybe we were meant to jump across. Or we could use the, the devil power to fly across, I guess, too. That would work. Can we jump up to the top of this building? No. Yeah, we're definitely not jumping that high, so fly. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Can't fly that high either. What? Fall into the fire? Invisible walls. Can't do that either. I mean, I guess we're kind of in the fire, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe we can only fly so high? So we need to go up where we just... Oh, never mind. We just had to walk down the freaking road, dude. <laughs> All right, I guess that works. Wait, is this an infested fucking attack helicopter? Apache or whatever the whatever they call them? How are demons infecting machines, man? I don't understand. Whatever. Kill you all the same. Let's go. Oh, I think using our... Yeah. Using our, our uh, machine gun hands makes it run out quicker. That makes sense, honestly. It looks like a magic ability. Shotguns? Shotguns seem to be doing a bit more damage. When it's close, at least. Which, again, makes sense, you know? Shotgun spread over distance. I, I wish I had any idea what was actually happening right now, but I don't. I don't even know where the damn helicopter's at. Like, <laughs> he's up there in the sky somewhere. I know that much. Ow, dude. Can you, can you just come down a little bit lower, bro? Just just fly down a little bit, man. It'd make a hell of a lot easier to shoot you. Oh, God. Also, if you could stop with the missiles, that would be fine, too. Oh, my God. Just die already. Can we switch back to the shotgun now? Yes. Oh, he's got an eyeball on the side of him. That's what we're actually targeting, I guess, huh? The eyeball. GG, are you dead? Wait, did we did we kill it? Did we kill it or did it run away? Well, we didn't we didn't get anything. That's lame. 
What was the point of even fighting the damn thing then? Elevator? No. Elevator says no. Fair enough. Random door? Also no. Uh, excuse me. I want that. I'm assuming we need to just get to the top of this, this building. There's probably some secrets over there or something. Oh. Round two with the helicopter? It is. But he got all his health back. So yeah, there really was no point in fighting him out there. Unless, unless I guess it wouldn't let me progress until, until we killed it. I guess that's a possibility. You gonna die as often as Metal Gear? I mean, I haven't died yet. Oh, oh. Ow. Might have spoke too soon. <laughs> Uh, now where? I can't tell if the floor is just like, if the, the fire or whatever the hell it is is just raising to meet us with however high we are, or if it's just constantly raising and we have to outrun it. Okay, maybe we have to fight it again. I'm not seeing anywhere else we can we can go. Ooh, I lied. Right there. Can we go there? We can go right there. Might as well just run from the thing if we're not going to get anything for killing it anyways. Just a waste of our time. I mean, the, the video whenever we got here clearly showed us the helipad, so maybe maybe something happens when we get over there. Let's just run over there real quick. No, nothing. Well, shit, dude. Are we supposed to just fly away? Ow. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Just keep running from the thing. All right, then. Uh, now where? Up another building? Sure, we can do that. Thankfully, Dante's got some massive fucking hops. Good bird. Oh, excuse me, game. I, I would like to go up the building. Thank you. We're just parkouring across an entire city. I'm here for it, dude. Devil May Cry was doing Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed. How do I get up that one? The little things that were sticking off the head that look suspiciously like snake heads to me for some reason? What are they? Are they snake heads? I think they are actually snake heads. Damn, dude. There's got to be a better way to get up here. Flying? Can I fly all the way to the top? I mean, <laughs> sure. I guess that's one way to deal with it. Just fuck it, dude. Fly to the top. Let's go.
Do I actually fight the thing now? I think so. It's got a big health bar now. Can you can you come down here where I can see you? Please and thank you. I guess we just stand here and shoot it while it's off screen. Oh. Excuse me, game. Let me up. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I think the... I Honestly, I think the regular handguns are still doing more damage, too. I think they just have a higher DPS because of how quickly they shoot. So I guess this is us now. We just we just stand here and shoot for a while, man. Every once in a while, go into devil mode and, and shoot more quickly. <laughs> do do the big boy damage, and then back back to the handguns. Yeah, I mean we can climb up there, but I don't think it actually does anything for us. Ow. I guess whenever he comes down really low like this, it's probably worth switching to the shotgun. It might even be worth climbing up there now at this point, but nah. Just do little circles down here. We got this. We already got him, what, three quarters of the way? Or not three quarters, a quarter of the way? Maybe, probably closer to half, actually. Because he started with like one and a half health bars. I do wish we could make it go just a little bit quicker. Because so far, it's, the fight's not, like, challenging. It's just, you know, it's more like an endurance challenge than a, than a skill challenge. What about the sword? Can we, can we even reach that high? No. Damn. All right, now he's roughly three quarters of the way there. Pistols only, no upgrades. I mean, I I have to imagine with as large as the fan base is for Devil May Cry, I have to imagine someone's done it. I wouldn't be surprised if they do something crazy like that for the for the speed run, even. Unless like there's there may be a way to like just unlock a massive amount of, of points very quickly. If that's the case, then they probably do a bunch of upgrades. But otherwise, I wouldn't be surprised if they just do something crazy like no upgrades for the entire game. All right, three quarters, come on. The only downside is we are actually low on health ourselves now. <laughs> and we don't have any heals left, so. It'd be really nice if we could see those missiles coming from a little bit farther away. So we had a better chance to dodge them. Maybe if we like hide real close to the wall or something, the missiles will like hit the wall instead of us. Oh god. Yes, that actually worked. Let's go. Come on, die. Just die. Please, dude, just die. I don't want to die after ooh, spending this much time slowly whittling down your health. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You shoddies. The shoddy doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage unless he's really close. Oh, thank God. It literally landed right on top of us. Uh, well, if we weren't already dead, we should be now. Dante gotta be dramatic as fuck, jumping off of buildings and things. Come on, Dante. Alright. That was actually pretty fun, man. I mean, I'm not surprised again. I did have a lot of fun with the first Devil May Cry game, Cry game so I'm not surprised that I like the second one either. 
I feel like the difficulty is a little bit better balanced and the control scheme is a lot better than the first one. Although, I don't know, the gameplay itself, like the layout of the levels and things doesn't quite seem up to par with what they had in Devil May Cry 1 though. Uh, I will say that, although there was a bunch of backtracking in Devil May Cry 1, it was more, you know, there were, there were more puzzles and things that you had to do. This one here just kind of seems like walk down a corridor beating stuff to, to death along the way, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just think I'm leaning a little more towards one on that side. Although the gameplay improvements in terms of handling and whatnot kind of make me lean towards this one. So it's kind of a toss up between the two, to be honest. But we're going to take a quick break, guys. And then when we come back, we'll try out the other PS2 game that we we're going to play for tonight. 007. What's the actual name of it? I'm going to need to know that anyways to put it on Twitch. 007. Doo -doo -doo. James Bond, Agent Under Fire. We're going to try Agent Under Fire when we come back, guys. BRB. Added shit like <laughs> everybody's just rushing to their death. We've already lost half our troops. Fuck. <laughs> 